Broadway is usually a hot ticket this time of year, especially among tourists, but shows keep closing because of Omicron and the COVID surge. And now two have permanently closed. Thoughts of a colored man and waitress. They have ended their runs. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon looks at what these closures could mean for the future of Broadway. Hello, dearies. Mrs. Doubtfire is back on Broadway, and so are the crowds. Fans show proof of vaccination and wear masks, precautions that are all the more important, given the show had to shut down for more than a week due to breakthrough cases of COVID within the company. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll use my generation's favorite joke, it was an 11. Producer Kevin McCollum estimates his losses at $300,000. And just as this show was opening back up, another one of his productions had to go dark. Listen up, let me tell you a story. Performances of six are set to resume December 29th. We are resilient, we are New York, and we have our stories to tell as long as everyone is healthy to tell them. When it comes to stage performances for children, <laughs> COVID concerns are heightened, which is why this van is parked outside for every performance of Winnie the Pooh. They do non-invasive testing um, and it's rapid testing, which is wonderful, so that that way anybody who does not have the vaccine is able to get a test. Audiences will be able to see Winnie the Pooh through the holidays and into next year. We just want to make sure that they can test negative so they can be positive that they're having a great experience. <laughs> the Broadway League, representing theatrical producers, has been at the forefront of keeping audiences safe. How likely is it that all of Broadway will have to close again. Sandy, I cannot imagine that Broadway would close down completely again. Safety protocols now in place make a total shutdown unlikely. I don't have a crystal ball, but that's my prediction. In Midtown, I'm Sandy Kenyon, Eyewitness News.